Whoosh. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz. Yes, there we go. Greetings, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Monday Night Live stream. Um, I hope everybody's having a good evening. Uh, I am. I'm having a fantastic day. I made progress on things, and I did some stuff. I know that's specific. Stuff. stuff. Um, we've got the Saffron Raiders and the Terran Winterblade Raiders. Welcome, everybody. Mr. Boomplex. How's it going? How's it going? Rorax plays. Rorax, how are you? How are things on the bottom of the planet? I hope everybody's doing good. Um, let's see. Somewhere... Down here is a little thing that's going to show up about one minute out of every five. And it's called a sponsor badge. And it's a new feature they put in over at Streamlabs. And it's very cool. And it's going to rotate through some of the people that make this stream possible. In addition to all you wonderful folks and my sponsors. Um, Chili and high power builds. Oh, that's right. Yes, inverse. So you're hitting into the heights of winter soon, I think. Which means you're probably running heat quite a bit, I think. How was I subbed and not following, says Crunk Spleen. That is a thing. It can happen. There we go, Crunk Spleen followed. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody's having fun this good, fine Monday. Um, with me, as always, are Foxbot Games. How are you, Foxbot? Good, good. I heard a thing. Oh, Foxbot Games has subscribed. Ooh, thank you, Foxbot. Oh, boy. And Eridani Tribal. How are you, Eridani? Oh, you know, it's Monday. You were in the throes of your final week of school. Fox, yours was last week, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, so Eridani's is this week. Um, yep. Yes. Then, I've then, got two certification exams this week. That sounds debatably awesome. <laughs> it's my Network Plus tomorrow, and uh, I managed to actually get my... Uh, a plus rescheduled for earlier. That's on Wednesday. Hey, uh, Mall Rat and Kugas and Gears and Mad JavaScript. That's a terrifying name. Um, Skysom, what's going on? How are you? So many people. I wanted to say thanks here too. Oh yeah, Ferg. Everybody, please congratulate Ferg. Ferg actually finally hit the last qualification he needed for Twitch affiliate. He got uh, the minimum number of followers. So, golf clap for that. Congratulations, Berg. Uh, may all your streams be fun. Pot Ducky! What's going on, Pot Duck? Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, um, Boomplex and Pot Ducky were the two uh, uh, Brits that I got to hang out with recently uh, over here at Houston Mine Fair, uh, Mine Fair Houston. Um, they're with the, all the mods team, and they came down, and uh, we, we, bought them, we bought them coffee. Pot Ducky subscribed. Thank you very much. Oh, that's another thing that we can actually do now. Um... New emote. We now have a Vagrim Vision emote. There's two others in the works. They didn't get approved because lettering. But I'm working on it. We'll get some art. It's okay. Thank you very much, Mad JavaScript. Yeah. Oh, congrats to Ferg. Yes, also. Very well. Uh, so, yes, we actually now have an emote that can be thrown around and bandied about by all my wonderful subscribers. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'm actually going to, let's go over here and do a little bit of this. Hey, it didn't shift. It kept the settings. Woohoo. Um, let's see. We're in the basement and, uh, we've got like one or two projects left. Um, that's, I think one technically speaking, and that's about it. Um, hey, Robert Collins, what's going on? The affiliate emote name cutoff is just... Uh, that's it's it's weird. They they literally cut off the last letter of my name, so it's it's colon vagri, v a y g r i. Don't know. I'm not gonna ask. I got emotes. But yeah, um, we got like one project left. I think this evening. Uh, Gear said, "Did you get your Twitch integrate game integration that we're working on with Ichun? Ichun done. I got it." kind of done. I know how to get it set up and I've got a, rule, a lot of rules set up. It's not on this server or this pack. I'm probably going to start fresh with it with Coop Life 2. By the way, I'm thinking about uh, the possibility that there might be a final 
update and maybe release candidate that can get passed out to some very, very select individuals uh, later this evening or first thing tomorrow morning. We hit a hitch over the weekend with uh, Coop Life 2 where we had to uh, basically swap out a central kind of a pivotal key mod. So we had to swap out a central part of the pack uh, to make sure that we weren't going to end up having a whole bunch of problems in the long run. And I think it was for the best. I think it was the wise decision. Eating dinner pasta, but doing good. Throw up a column. Awesome. Uh, but I did gear. I did get that. And thank you very much for helping me test that with iChan on Saturday morning. <laughs> um, uh, for those that missed it, there is actually there was actually a Saturday morning impromptu live stream uh, because I uh, woke up to uh, some private messages from uh, iChan. He wanted me to help him test a mod. And uh, I kind of hopped to it and said yes, because it's iChan. Um, speaking of swap, back to work, says Mallrat. Um... Oh, yeah, the chicken, says Sky Sum. Uh, but yeah, I did get most of that set up and working. Uh, I do not have it on this instance, though. It's a, it's a notification that ties into Twitch, so when people do bits or cheers or subs, things will happen in-game, and it's going to be fun. Um, and I'm going to get that set up and then pass it around in the league to uh, and anybody else. I, I think it's a public mod. I'll have to double-check. Uh, but I have permission to test it with any certain circle right now. I'll See if it's public otherwise, but yeah. Um, hey, Kira, what's going on? Um, Sky Sum. Oh, we can do bits. <laughs> there we go. The bit wars have started. Eridani ah. wanted to take top spot, so he, he snuck in with a fiver. Uh, but <laughs> y you didn't hold it long, Eridani. Sorry. Nope, not this time. Okay, so this is the monster. This is one of the last projects we're looking for. The thing that's supposed to solve most, if not all, of our power problems. And we actually haven't had any over the last day or two. I've stepped on periodically to make sure everything didn't black out. So, um, we haven't turned it on. The, the lasers are charged up. And in theory, once it gets going, it will loop back around and it will be glorious. Oh gosh, Foxbot, all the cheers. And there goes the top slot again. Sky Sum glares. Um, <laughs> yep. Okay, this is going to get hilarious. Uh, so let's see. We were going to work on this thing, get it turned on, make sure it works, explain how the whole setup works one more time, and then I, I've got some stupid ideas on what we could do for the final, like, I don't know, one hour and 55 minutes. <laughs> I mean, really, I'm hoping it's going to work. Morat, bit cheers for one. Thank you, Morat. I appreciate it. <laughs> I want cheer. Got to save my monies for Ferg subbing. Yeah, exactly. Got to save some of these bits for Mr. Ferg. And a dark preacher is going to start live streaming himself soon on a consistent basis, a couple times a week. He is striving for Twitch affiliate as well. Uh, I think he's pretty close to actually qualifying fully. So yeah, it, it's going to be glorious. Um, okay. So we have... i got to remember here. This thing is basically ready to go. We just have to fire the lasers. Okay, liquid deuterium is coming in this side. Um, this music is putting me to sleep. Hang on a second. I've got to pick up something more exciting. Um, chill? No, that's even worse. Chip tunes! Chip tunes. Let's see if that's better. Okay. Uh, liquid tritium on this side and liquid deuterium on that side. Hi, Foxbot. And then DT fuel going in the middle. We've also got a hall room that's been filled up with DT fuel that's up here, right? Yep. Yeah. So that's like, what, the Kickstarter reaction? Yep. Okay. The only thing we have left to do is plug, plug in the lasers. Or do they need a redstone signal? I can't remember. Um, I figured that at the same time, we just, uh, disable the, uh, high setting on the uh, laser amplifier. Oh, right. Okay, yes, there is a, yeah, we have these set to require a signal, and we have no signal going. That's how we turn them off. Um, Jigger says, uh, Vagram at the stream site Mixer, they have an interactive system where viewers can affect the streamer's game. They even rolled it, uh... Oh. Rolled at viewer control of streamers. It is my hope that Twitch will roll out similar features. Twitch is working on similar features. Um, I really do like the mixer side of things. However, 
Um, it has a very high barrier to entry if you don't know how to don't know how to code. It's very hard to get it working. So, yeah. Night Pirate says, "Do you have power yet? You're just in time, Night Pirate. Um, just in time." Dark Richard says, "Only need the streaming time to get affiliate. Good. So you just need basically some consistent streaming." Hmm. Also, Ferg, yeah, if you need help with uh, Streamlabs OBS, you let me know. Um, Mallrat says, actually, just for the final push on Air Dunny Tribal, Cheers 5 and I'm out. Cheers 2. two. We're getting into Ooh. Cheers fights. I would join the Bits Wars, but it's kind of silly on my part. Yeah, yeah. I tried so hard, says Mallrat. Um, okay. If you want to... I'll me... keep the Barat's medal. <laughs> I'm going to win this fight. Uh, let's see. We go over here. Do I have this thing on? Off. Okay, it's off. Good. I picked this up. Um, I think we can plug this back in safely, right? Because it's set for redstone signal. Okay. Do we want to do the other side? I'll go do the other side here real quick. It might as well. Yep. Well, the reason how come I unplugged them was because these the lasers were still firing. So we had no power. <laughs> Okay. Well, once you turn this thing on, we'll be fine. It's set to high. We're going to switch it to low. The battery disappeared instantly. What happened? And um, come started. up here. Oh, dear God. What the <laughs> heck? Wait a minute. Can I see in the... Oh, I don't want to stand in front of the laser. Right. <laughs> Standing in front of the laser is bad. Um, I think it's working. Kids, Dark Preacher says 10. Sit down, fool. <laughs> mm. I didn't notice this. It actually gives the leaderboard number as a badge next to your name in chat. I see why people yep. want it now. Um, I need to go digging for couch bits again, it seems, says Cougars. Uh -huh. I think it's making 400 million RF. <laughs> Wait, what? How much RF is this making? Uh, up. producing um, 460, 450 RF per tick. 440. Uh, it seems to go up and down. It is going down. Oh, uh, it's going down because that first burst of heat. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's now cooling off. Once it levels out with the injection rate, it'll. Uh, so it'll you be have stable power. Okay, so case heat is going down some. Water and steam. We don't need any of that, right? Because we're, we're not using this for steam power? Yep, nope. So, okay, plasma is at 265 million Kelvin, I guess? Okay. Um, That's... If I'm looking at this right, a um, little statistics button, the bottom third, but the uh, third. Oh, geez, uh, okay. Uh, Passive generation, it should level out at 200,000 RF per tick. Sky Sum says, you have to set it up under appearances, says the man with the number two badge. Um, okay, so air-cooled, minimum injection rate, two, passively generating 200,000 RF per tick. That's where I should level out after it, uh... Okay, so it's just that, in, it's that initial bang, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. It's cool Max, we had, like, four giga RF of power from those lasers shooting all at once. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Wow. So if we water cool it, it runs less hot, it generates less power, but it puts out a metric ton of steam that we could dump into something else. Yeah, one of the steam turbines, which is eh, I'm, uh, I'm fine more with, power efficient. I'm fine with fusion. Fusion's good. Okay, so this is going to generate 200,000 RF per tick. We in no way consume that, even remotely. The one thing we have that consumes a lot of power, air quotes, is 1,000 RF per tick for our infinite range wireless transmitter on the uh, yeah. Ruine storage system. Wow, this is glorious. Okay. Power problems are solved. Okay. Yeah, we're only doing air cool. I picked it up to injection rate 4. So 400,000 RF per tick. Does that mean higher temperatures? Oh, uh, yeah, higher temperatures. Oh, yeah, okay. Minimum injection rate, too, but you have it set to four. Yep. Uh, what's nice is that the uh, <laughs> GUI actually updates for the no, bridge. 
<laughs> Preach is just, he's determined to kick people off the leaderboard. He is keeping number three. It says 10 bits and I'm out for the day. He's out of bits. He's sticking around. Is RF tools in this pack? It is, gear. It is, as a matter of fact. We could do, hey, there's a thought. Pot Ducky, just a little token of our appreciation for looking after us in Houston from Pot Ducky and Boomplex. Thank you very, very much. Both of you, everybody, make sure you go give some love to the All the Mods team, Pot Ducky and Boomplex, at All the Mods, I think, on Twitter. I follow them. I should know this, but I've slept since then. Um, thank you very much, both of you guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, absolutely. Apparently, preacher needs more symbols next to his name. Uh, I can, I can get, I can make that happen. Um, <laughs> Derek preacher says hi, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of those guys are wonderful people. Um, uh, we had the me and the wife had the absolute blast dragging them around town and taking them for barbecue and coffee and all sorts of crazy stuff. So yeah, <laughs> all the symbols. Actually, the important one, I want to see if there's a way to swap the sword for a tiny little band hammer. That's what I want to get, Preacher. That or a wood chipper. Take a pick. Um, <laughs> Eridani used 10 bits. Cheer. I will fight for my bronze. It's getting violent, folks. <laughs> Using some elbows up in here for this bits fight. I'm sad the limit seems to be three symbols. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, I just want to swap the sword. I think, I think a hammer would make more sense or a mallet. Yeah, boom, if you guys need more coffee, I would say tea, but that seems dumb of an offer for a Texan to make to a, a Brit. So, eh, but uh, we can do coffee. We'll send you coffee. <laughs> so, yeah, um, okay. That is one thing we could do. We have RF tools in the pack, and I know we have a plethora of Ender Pearls. We could try and work with one of the Ender, what is it, Ender Pearl injector systems? Endergenic generator, whatever it is from RF tools. Is that still in there? Yeah. Once upon a time. Oh, wait a minute. Is Rorak still in the room? Uh oh. I missed something. Yeah, okay. Eridani is. Uh, oh, yeah. Never mind. Eridani's bronze again. Um, <laughs> RF tools. This resets on Sunday night, just so you people know. We lost Yo, the one yeah, from I last know. week. It's, it's weekly. There's Rorax. My lovely Ender Lady, how are you doing? Um, and barbecue too, yeah. Um, Rorax, once upon a time, you had this really evenly spaced, really beautiful Endergenic generator system that you set up on Forgecraft 2 when it was either 194 or 110. One of those two, I can't remember. Do you remember the spacing on that still? <laughs> you have Dirk Bridge says, Hi, Rorax! Uh, we should have turned that into bits and destroyed the leaderboard, says Boomplex. Something to think about. Uh, okay. Because what we currently need is more power generation. Uh, I'm just thinking we've got, we basically, we've got an hour and 40 minutes left. Our final project is pretty much done in all of its glory. By the way, for anybody that didn't know, the stream last Thursday were the people that decided to help me design this room. Uh, I, I got a gumption to design it, put put all the sponge blocks we had to use, and somebody in this chat actually suggested the uh, end stone to go with it. So, yeah, I, I, I think that's hilarious. Um... Uh, oh, yeah, we have Vagrom Vision. Hang on a second. We have Vagrom Vision of Moat, no less, too. Let's transition over into the wonderful world of black and white. It looks way less retina burning in Vagrom Vision. Yeah. It hurts to look at it, says Sky Sum. <laughs> That's 100% true. The power room looks very squeaky. I want to make that kind of squishy squeaking noise when you walk on it, but we don't have that. Um, okay. It looks like it's settled around 400 million RF. 400,000. Sorry. Yeah. That's the, in, that's the internal capacitor. Uh, this thing is generating uh, 400,000 RF. Yeah. I keep reading the internal buffer. 
8.9. It's going back up again. It seems to just kind of go up in little peaks and dips and peaks and dips. So yeah, yeah, it's doing about 400,000 RF per tick, which will do just nicely. I think the next thing we could do is build a massive battery bank to fill up. Do you want to do that? We could uh, do that. We've got RF tools power. Uh, we had RF tool power. We also have the mechanism uh, induction casing for things. Yeah. Oh, the multi-block mechanism battery. Uh, so that's on the back of the reactor. <laughs> Let's do that one first. I mean, honestly, we could build it into the ceiling. Does it have any kind of a visual indicator on the outside, or is it just a massive battery? Just a massive battery. Um, Crap. I kind of wish it had a big bar on the front. Um, I, I was wish just, it too. Um, I was just thinking we could build it into the wall space above the doorway, so it's directly above the fusion reactor, and then we could just pull a cable straight out the front of it. Right? Yeah. The mech battery is just as nutty as the reactor, says Kugas. I don't hear squeaking. I imagine a squish bounce. Skydive from the top of the dome. I could do that, Night Pirate. We could probably do that finishing off the stream. Um, but but uh, RF Tools battery power ba uh, power battery bank. Um, I think I I kind of want to do both just to see. The inventory scanner I mentioned earlier will save you that one thousand per tick you were spending. With the infinite wireless. Oh, we're going to lose the infinite wireless anyway, because it's getting yanked from uh, refined storage. So it's a moot point. Um, but yes. Drinks at Starclux at the top of the tower. Wait a minute. Boomplex just dropped a random key code for something. I don't know. It's that or it's somebody's stream key. No, it's a UUID. Oh, that's somebody's UUID for Minecraft. Okay. Um, I have no clue who that is. Oh, it's his MC UUID. Okay. Um, I know mine has 3795 in it, about three quarters of the way, too. Uh, I think 3795 or 3975. I can't remember. Anyway, um, I'm thinking we could do a couple of the big battery banks. That should uh, do us real nice for power storage. Then we could... Finish things off with uh, maybe doing some skydiving off of the uh, top of the tower. We do some hand gliding jumps and uh, see how far we can get and what kind of trouble we can cause in the last 15 minutes. Sound good? Sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna... I would like it to be, like, on top of... On top of what? The sponge square out here. Have it set in the wall. Just Yeah, no, that's, that's it. literally what I was thinking. Stone, stone. Nope, not stone monster eggs. Keep thinking on that one. I'm going to swap these things out. It does are in the system? Yep. Uh, <sighs> Good to know. Yeah, we got them from the uh, thing, which I turned back on, by the way. Um, And I've completely rearranged it. <laughs> doot, doot. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, I remember once upon a time, speaking of power systems, uh, when m I was grouped with Mr. TTFT Cuts for the first time on uh, Forgecraft, and uh, I was using my Dire Ranch design. I have 5x5 five 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 you. Do what? I have 5x5 five five on my drill. Uh, Do you? Yes. I have by three, but I have three by three, and then three by three by three. I actually don't have five by five. Uh, I'm mostly measuring the width out. But yeah, I remember we were trying to get the endogenic pearl thing working with a refined, uh, refined. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, RF tools, and uh, she just kind of stopped by and said, "Oh, it works this way," and snapped it together in about I don't know four minutes. And uh, it was wondrous. Pot Ducky has used 2,500 bits. Woo! Party 1,000, party 1,000, party 100, party 100. Oh, my gosh. Did someone say mention destroying the leaderboards? Okay. Ah, yeah. uh, Foxbot, you're not number one anymore. Darn it. 
Oh, gosh. You people spoil me. Dark Preacher says, Sweet Jeebus. <laughs> Sky Psalm shakes his fist as he's been bumped to third. May I post a link? Um, Dark Preacher, can you permit Rorax plays, please? I think I turned off link bumping, but let's not take a risk. Um, <clears throat> Ducky no play. Uh, there we go. Fire away, Rorax. She's probably going to link to a video. Whoops, no, that's totally wrong. Um, hey, Aragani, how big do we want to make this? I'm hollowing out extra space. I figure we don't actually need it this big. Uh, we um, can. I'm already building it back here. Back where? Oh, he's building it behind the reactor. Well, it's fine. Yep. We can feed that one into this one, and we can make this one a massive uh, RF tools power one. Okay. <laughs> we'll have double battery redundancy. Plus, this one has cool displays and screens and stuff on it. Can we read it from 30 feet away? I don't know. That's not the point, really. <laughs> Aerodyne Tribal used 100 bits, taking third back again. <laughs> Your ambition is going to bankrupt you, sir. Um, uh, only $1.40. Uh, uh, can we have color back? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Boomplex. Uh, I can't tell. See, people have to remind me. Oops. Um, uh, thank you very much. There's that bigger vision icon. Hey, Maniac, what's happening? Oh, what is the final death count? That's a good... What is it? DC leaderboard. Yep. Um, Poor Sapper tops out at 47 and Wraithless at 43. Uh, Boxbot is in third for 22, and I'm trailing right behind him for 21. I don't think that Eridani... Do you have, what, one death or two deaths or nothing? I think one or two. Yeah, um, he's got like one or two man. deaths. <laughs> Sky Sam, fight me. <laughs> I, I, do, I don't even <laughs> know what's going on anymore. Bit bite! SG Maniac says, uh, Data plan won't let me stay. I 100% understand... Uh, I am sorry that you can't stick around. You will be missed, but I, I definitely understand. Uh, maybe one day can do some kind of noir black and white series. Actually, Gear, I was considering that. I was considering doing a kind of a pseudo survival build series, like mostly about buildings and, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm about half, if not more, builder at heart when it comes to Minecraft. Um, I love the tech side and the tech mods, but really when it comes down to it, I, I really, my batteries get charged. <laughs> off of the uh, building the bases and stuff like that and the landscaping and things of that nature. Um, I kind of thought about doing a black and white series and I'm still thinking about doing it. Um, I think it would have to be the right mod pack. I I don't know. Um, I finally figured out how to actually get uh, all the mods set up and running right. Of course, that pack scares me because there's so much in it, but... Um, he's a house hider. What? Bit slap. That is, an awesome, and to that is awesome and totally needs to be a shirt. Bit slapped. <sighs> hey, Air Donnie, there are basic induction parts auto crafted. Okay. The recipe, anyway. Uh, okay, you're building that mechanism battery behind the reactor, right? Yep. Uh, okay, I think center should be. I'm just going to go until I don't see Enderstone ceiling anymore. Okay. Whoop, there's Sponge. Wow, this battery is tiny. Yeah. Um, doing a small one just for basic storage. Uh, uh, um, I'm not wanting basic storage. I want dumb storage. Mm -hmm. I want absurd Oh, God. Found it. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Um, need that, and then filter. Rid of it, and off we go. Filling. No. Okay, is this actually the battery? Yes. Is it I a multi? It yet. Oh, you haven't finished it yet. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, I need to get some torches. Some torches. Mm -mm. I'm going to do this, this, and this. Okay. 
Uh, now we have space for a big dumb battery bank that we can stick in the wall. Um, let's put that there. Let's go over here and empty out a whole bunch of this crap. Um, zip. Zip, zip. Zip, zippity, zip, zippity. Okay. Um, tried to take my third place. Yeah, Ferg says I'm 50-50 myself. In terms of building and then kind of the techie, tech tree side of things, I, I, I land that way, but I do find myself being more 60-40 builder of that way nowadays. I, I Just a thing. I like building within the context work within limited resources. Yeah, can't do... Yeah, and I'm, I'm hip to that too. At this current size, it would only hold about 1,200 million RF. At that current size, 1,200 million? So 1.2 yes. 1. 2 billion, billion RF. Is that, is that, I hate to ask this, but is that enough or do we need more? I feel like we need more. <laughs> more did somebody say more stupid? We can do more stupid. <laughs> we can do yes, more stupid. we can do, actually, I'm going to let Fox widen it out. He's got the better drill. Um. Okay. Uh, what I think I need to do is get working on the parts. We're going to do at... A lot of it's auto-crafted. Uh, is it? Well, it needs to be auto-crafted. It has a recipe. Low, low, low. Information screen. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to go up to the habitat ring and set up some auto-crafting real quick. Only. Only, says Skysum. Um... Currently trying to figure out how chickens work. Should be interesting. Let me know if you need anything. Skysom, there is a chicken breedery room on the test server. If you want to step on the Coop Life 2 test server and look around. Oh, goodness. Um, this is going to take a lot of resources. Um, Calculator. I can't live in a non-base, says Birdcraft. Oh, you don't do the uh, yard sale uh, play style like Direwolf 20 used to do all the time? Drove me nuts. Like, Dyer, just put some walls up. Dear God, fencing, anything, please. Rex says, hip to be square. Um, Dark Pritchard says, today is a day of good news. Ferg got affiliate, and the wife made it past her second interview. Oh, yes. Um, Dark Pritchard's wife made it past the second interview and a new job. Uh, very, very exciting thing. So, uh, uh, happy wishes to Lyrium on that one. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, the current reigning kings and queen of uh, chicken breeding on the test server, Skysom, is Heart of Dragons and Dragon Racer. So if you see them hanging out in the test channel, uh, feel free to ask them questions. I'm quite sure they'll be more than happy to accommodate with knowledge. She'll be making uh, more per year doing the same thing she does now, but from home. That's good. Terran says, last server we had like Eight people who built beautiful bases, and then there was this one team that just put literally everything in their yard, and I'm like, please, just just walls. Yeah, see? I, I can't stand that. I've lost track of the number of times I was on uh, Forgecraft with Direwolf, and he would do that. Drive me nuts. <laughs> Dang nesters, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. I forget which one of these is which. No? Yes, Pattern Grid. Hey, I remembered it. Okay. So... We can directly craft those. Oh, wait a minute, pattern. No, no, no. Pattern. I need like, I don't know. I'm just going to say 10. Please. Also, do how much dimensional? Oh, we have a lot. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we'll see. We're about to find out. <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> okay, so that is the high power core. Um... Let's see. This is where we have to do the nested crafting. Oh, you're building that one. I started... I was planning out... I was doing math for the uh, mechanism one. He's already building the mechanism one. Behind the reactor. That's what Aridani's doing. Yeah. Somebody needs more coffee. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a bigger multi-block... Um, Eridani's gonna get the mechanism one done and we can show it off when he gets it finished. Um, okay, let's see, let's do that. 
15 by 6 by 8. Um, I'm going to have to do... You need 240. That's it? I mean, okay. 240. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have enough uh, uh, dimensional shards for that, but, you know, whatever. Um, low, that's high. So we need to do one for medium. I think we're going to run out of dimensional shards. We could at least do a massive low battery bank. At least. Um... Do I have more? Okay, weird. Um, machine frame, low. Medium. And high. You have to be high to build something this big. Um, <laughs> seriously. Uh, okay, let's go back up. Let's go upstairs to the crafting array. Um, doo -doo -doo. Just find random space somewhere. I think there's a thing that lets you do this. No? I'll just put those there. Uh, okay. S power. We have lots of parts for crafting. Um, can I actually get chicken integration and content tweaker stuff? Ooh, what, where? Just steal a village and put things in it. No fields. Um, is the capsule mod in Goob Life 2? It is not. We have it in Wasted, and honestly, we're, I almost removed it. Because it's buggy, it doesn't really work the way it's supposed to, and it does not work very well with anything modded, because a lot modded has a lot of tile entities, and it doesn't do tile entities. It's basically a mod that just uses the vanilla, um, um, what is it called? The resource? Mallrat will remember, if he's here. The, uh, the, the vanilla block storage system, or whatever, uh, that they have, we used it in 81, but it just uses that. And um, for stealing multi-block buildings and multi-block schematic. Yeah, yeah, the structure system. There we go. That's what it is, Taryn. Thank you. It uses the vanilla structure system. It just encapsulates it <laughs> in a clever interface and makes it a little bit easier for players to use. But that does not handle tile entities pretty much at all. Um, uh, if you do, you have to do a lot of interpretation, and they have not gone that far. Uh, you can ask Mr. Atomic Blom how complex that is. So, yeah. Is there a way to add blueprints to the prefab mod? Uh, we don't know yet. We're looking into it. Not prefab. E not efab. Prefab. Uh, Skysom. Prefab is actually a, a building a mod that we actually have in the pack that we were showing off on the Friday live stream. Um, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Prefab. Prefab is actually a really cool mod. It, it's going to be really fun because it means people will be able to make um, they'll have an easier time making pretty bases and pretty pretty complexes and stuff like this. They don't have to worry as much about um, does it look good or whatever. They can make stuff that is functional and looks nice really, really quick. And it's not going to break the bank. It's a really good mod. So, yeah. No excuses for nesting. Yeah. Um, we need 240 blocks. You said 240? No. I did bad math. It's 15 by 6 by 8. It is 720. Oh, awesome. Is that it? Um, okay. Um, let's see. We have... I could actually increase it if you want. No, no, no. Hang on a sec. Um, output 250 RF per tick. Okay, that's not going to work very well. The low ones are too a bit too low. Um... Wait a minute. Who just passed by? In Air the Donnie. habitat. Uh, Air Donnie, did, no. you have your, did you have your magnet on? Uh, yes. Nope. No, mine's did, off. Who, 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 where did my battery go? Oh, it was under the floor, apparently. Okay, weird. Um, it's like, where did my battery disappear to? Um, uh, ma -na, ma -na. Okay. What's just the front wall? The front single de single block deep thing of it. How many blocks is that? Do you know, uh, Fox? 
Tape measure! Tape measure to the rescue. It is, uh, is it pretty decent? I was concerned about including it because I w it was so new and I didn't recognize the mod author. I tell you what, Taryn, if you want to go back and look at, I think it's the second half of my live stream on Friday. Um, it was the uh, Coop Life uh, 2 mod dev stream, um, or a mod pack dev stream. If you go back and look at that, there's a whole chunk of about an hour, the last hour of the stream, where I was showing off all the buildings and how easy it is to get going. And it, they, they're really nice. I really do like the mod. 120. 120. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do that. Um, let's see what happens if we do... If I do start... Missing... Oh, it doesn't know how to make gold nuggets. Oh, God. We need a, <laughs> we need a lot. Hang on a second. We don't have enough dimensional ore. Missing that 3... 3,800, yes. Um, it also doesn't know how to auto-craft redstone blocks. Nope. Um, actually, no, I think I'm good. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Ice? The cook's over there? Thank you very much. That a very much. The refreshments lady is here. Refreshments. Again! Um, okay, I can solve... The redstone problem, but even on medium batteries, we're missing 1,700 dimensional shards. I might have to go raid either Pops or Sapper. I'm not sure. We have I'm 282 dimensional shard ore. Yeah, well, that's about several thousand shy. Um, Ferg says, I don't use graph paper. I eyeball my shenanigans. Sometimes I even count. <laughs> um, okay. I need to do... Let's see. Patterns. And we're going to do... That. And then I think it is... There we go. Yeah. Go upstairs. Back to the crafting array. Thank you very much. Um. Dun dun. dun. So now Change I should get a mechanism. more definitive answer. Uh. Okay. So we do S pow. S pow. Uh. Power cell high. What is this music? Oh my god. There we go. Much better. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's just set it on a Taisu bender. Um, okay. We have everything except 3,600 dimensional shards. We have everything else. How do you uh, change modes on the atomic disassembler? I forget. Shift right click. In the air. Thank you. Yes. Welcome! Uh, Dirk Preacher says, Prefab isn't new. I used it back in 1.8. Yes, and that's one of the reasons we put it in the pack is because Dark Preacher had previous experience with it and said it was good. And I decided, okay, that's enough for me to sit down and test it and see if it's still good. Um, so thank you very much for that advice, Dark Preacher. I missed the 81K mod downloads for 110. Yeah. Uh, just need to break down the dimensional shard or we have. How much do we have? I have it all at the moment. Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently Foxbot was way ahead of you. That's how come I needed to figure out what the mode was to change on the atomic disassembler. <laughs> um, time to teach it redstone blocks. You just did that part, uh, Night Pirate. Does Mr. Bones have company with him on the mic, Boom Creeper? Uh, no, because both of the little figurine things I have here, I'll pick them up and show them to the camera. Uh, it, it's it's green, so it doesn't show up on the green screen. This guy right here is in green armor, so most of him doesn't show up. So there's there's no point. Um, 
I do have something else worth showing, though. There he's is, a ninja. There is, yeah, exactly. He's a ninja. There's this wonderful creator in our community by the name of Kashka. She is super nice, and she made me this. This is a mimic chest that she actually made by hand with felting. Uh, it's a crafting technique that I barely understand. It is amazing. Got shipped all the way from the UK by Royal Mail, and it is super awesome. So yeah, I love this thing absolutely. It sits on my desk and sticks its tongue out at me. Right there, there we go. That is all the shards. One K. We have one thousand and forty-one total. Um, permission or forgiveness? Permission or forgiveness? I think I'm going with forgiveness. Uh, it's time. Oh wait, we have teleporter. Duh. I'm gonna go raid a base. Oh wait a minute, no. Oh no! Basement one! Somebody left a connection to their refined storage system on our doorstep. Yes, yes he did. Ninja Creeper. Needle felting! Yes, exactly. Um... Karen says that is amazing. Uh, Furcraft says that is awesome. I know, I was super lucky. Uh, it was very, very nice of them to make it, much less offer it. Um, uh... There we go. Wireless and a connection. Dimensional. Oh, geez. Okay. They have 38. They have 3,900 ore. Do, okay. we, do we have a way to automate it? I'm just going to rob them. Uh -huh. um, they do two inventory loads. I'm going to leave them with some. <laughs> we can return the excess later. We're desperate. Um, okay. Thank you very much. Poor Sapper. Current death leader on the leaderboards. Uh, let's go back upstairs. Um, habitat. Did you save the stamps? I think I still have the box, actually. The Royal Mail box. Yeah. I'm back. Uh, Boxbot, we now miraculously somehow have, um, 3.4k ore. Dimensional shard ore. Uh, okay, back to processing that. <laughs> no, I mean, do, do we want to find a way to automate it, or is there a way to automate it? There, the only way I know how to automate it is to use the breaker. Oh, okay. The assembler and the destroyer. So, if we do, I can do that. Um, do you want to set up an automation thing real quick somewhere? It's already set up. I just have to replace the filter. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Never mind. I'm gonna go down and see in the basement what kind of progress Mr. Air Downing Tribal is making. I am finishing out making the actual battery internals. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'd sit on your desk and Not stick out my fast. tongue, but then you just give me dirty looks, says Fergcraft. Dark Breacher says, well, you would bit, but then Jen would have to feed you. Yeah, 100%. And he's got hollow legs. Ferg ate more than me, and I'm a big boy. So, woof. I have used the prefab mod as well, Preacher, says Robert Collins. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, see, the wife says, I would say that wouldn't be a problem, but I've seen him eat. Ferg can eat. He's not a big guy, but he is a bottomless pit in terms of food. Um, spin to win, darn. Um, yeah, I don't do this spin to win because it can make people nauseous. This thing is crazy. Are we keeping up with, yes. As far as I know, I think we're keeping up with fuel. <laughs> um... Yeah, not a problem. Apparently. Nope. Nope. Okay. Awesome. It's either barely using any fuel or it is uh, uh, regenerating enough to keep ahead of the curve. Bye. 
Hello there. I've come to supervise, which means I'm untalented. Um, <laughs> yeah, it means I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to look at you and try to look important. Um, I eat more than you. Yes, you do, but still. Um, <laughs> we will need to set up a auto crafting for uh, uh, mach the steel machine frame for mechanism. Uh, steel machine frame? I forgot about it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's steel, not steel. Um, steel. Steel. Well, steel. steel machine frame? What? 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 Uh, what's it called? The steel case. That's what it's called. Steel casing. Oh, gosh. That means we have to actually make some... I'm going to shortcut upstairs. Whoop. Boop. Boop. Okay. That means we need to make some more steel, I think? Uh, oh, I just made a huge batch of like 192, so we, actually, we should have some steel in there. We have 77. Wow, I've gone for that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make another stack of it, and... Uh, I'm going to make a fresh stack of steel. Definitely steal. De de definitely steal. Mr. Roo, what's going on? How's it? Dark Purchase Block Placer and a Destruction Plane with the Fortune Upgrade. Pipe in yeah, that's what we have. Yeah, yeah. Pipe in the ore with the Exporter to the Placer. Okay. So apparently one of the two of these guys built this already. I just didn't know about it. That happens a lot now. So, eh. Um... I get mysterious upgrades around the base. I don't question it. I'm going to dump those in there. I don't need them anymore. There's my full stack. Both of the environmental tech machines are tier 3 now. Really? When did that happen? Yes. Like, today. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, while I'm waiting for the steel to crap, let's go over here. We're going to do... Okay, I can't remember. Do the blank patterns stay in here? The blank patterns stay, yes. Oh, they do. Once upon a time, they didn't. They would kick back out. Um, okay. We're gonna do this. Like that. Ugh. When you shift click a recipe and it sticks it back in your inventory. Ugh. Okay. Put that up. Clear that. Go, <laughs> Go upstairs. Find a slot. Put it in said slot. Go downstairs. Okay, you can auto crap those things now, Aerodonny. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds so thrilled. Um, so thrilled. Di dimensional. Oh. <gasps> I'm manually processing a lot of it. It's really slow. 3741, 3740. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Um, at SPOW. SPOW. Nope. Um, yep. Hi. Craft. Whoops. 120 to start, and we have it all. Wait for it. You guys are going nuts on power. Yes, we're getting absurd. Yeah, it's steel pirate, night pirate. Um, yeah, we're we're getting absurd with power storage. Cause why not? Exactly. Why not? <laughs> Just got home from a D and D session. Says Mr. Roo. That's doing it right. Version 3 or 3.5 or newer, and what do you play as? Character wise. Darkbridge says, just wait, one day you'll log in and a new tower and another dome will have sprung up overnight. Yeah. If you come there's now 4.7 thousand dimensional charts. Sweet. Well, I think I just am in the process of using a metric ton of them. You, you can watch the number disappear here in just a second. It's Auto crafting the the um, the high power cores, and it's gonna make uh, I think 480 of them. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, our auto crafting is actually pretty good setup. We got another one, a different set. There's actually a mod add-on for refined storage called Storage Reborn by the Tech Reborn people. It's a wonderful mod. They basically got it and re I think they got a pre-existing mod from an earlier Minecraft version and rebooted it. 
so to speak. They ported it and updated it and made it flashier. But what it does is it brings the multi-block crafting system from Applied Energistics 1 and it ports it over to Refined Storage current version. Uh, it works a lot better. I think it's a lot smoother and quicker. And I think it's a little easier to understand uh, in terms of getting it set up. So that's going to be in Coop Life 2. I cannot wait to mess with that. It's going to be awesome. I'm in a 5.0 session. I'm a cleric. This is Mr. Roo. Uh, Gropa Duper. 40 bits. Thank you very much. Um, I'm a cleric who has splashed a level in Monk because I'm in a Temple of Annihilation Adventure League setting. Okay, but I do love 3.x and hope to find a group of that soon as well. That or just end up being a DM again. Yeah, I, I us, poor, us poor dungeon masters. If I get into something, that's basically what I have to do. Um... Yeah, 480 power cores for the batteries. I mean, for the... Yeah. Now it's going through a metric ton of mediums and lows, I think. To make all the batteries to go into... You have to... It's upgrading. It's painful. A whole bunch of our dimensional shard stuff is going to disappear in a minute if it hasn't already. So, yeah. Um, well, it must have already because... I just put a bunch in there and it's back up to 4.6. Yeah, so I think we consumed a whole bunch and you just topped it back off. Also, thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. Um, last time I played D&D, &D, there was only version 1 or 2. You just dated yourself, Cougars. Well, yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> okay, here's, um. a, here's the thing, right? I remember when Elf was a class. <laughs> Woo! Yes, I remember D&D. I remember Dungeons and Dragons, not Advanced, Dungeons and Dragons, because it, it started off as D&D, &D, became a D&D, &D, and then went back to D&D. &D. People get confused by the Advanced. They figure it's going to be too complicated. So, yeah. But um, way back in Dungeons and Dragons days, when it was the Red Box, I was a wee little toddler, and I was playing with my brothers, who were older brothers, and they were playing at the kitchen table, and uh, my dad was sitting at the far end of the kitchen table trying to understand it and getting totally lost. But my dad was a uh, Tolkien and, you know, uh, C.S. Lewis fan. So he was he was down with it. And uh, 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 that was way back when Elf and I think Dwarf were classes. I think. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Anyway. Um, my battery's done and it is already over a quarter full. Who, what, where? Coming downstairs. Holy crap. And this Hashtag Power Gaming! 3.2 billion RF storage. Already a quarter full. Hashtag Point Gaming says, Hey, Begram, thank you very much for the 25 bits. Hi, Pinoy, how are you? Wait, wait, where is SpongeWall? SpongeWall Square Pants. Dun dun. Can I walk past the laser? Boing. I'm nervous I'm going to jump. Holy crap. Yeah. yeah. Input 409 kilo RF for tick. Woo! Watch the numbers climb. Who's yeah, it? I don't know why I'm watching. it will tell you how much power we're using. Um, awesome. That's very cool. I'm going to come down here and actually see the batteries for the secondary or tertiary storage at this point. Take out. We got 57 of these high-end battery systems. I'm burning through so many resources right now, but we got to use it for something. And there you go. I'm looking mm. over where the batteries are supposed to go. Holy crap! That's um, about one, two, three, four, five, seven stacks. Holy crap! Brace for brace for lag. This is the third time I've filled this thing. Dear God, that's actually not as bad lag wise as I thought it was gonna be. Um, <laughs> ninety-two, ninety-three. Um, yeah, Elfin Dwarf for classes. And limited to, like, level 8 or 9 or something, says Cougars. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago. Dr. Richard says, Bigram has gone past DM and straight to making his own Gen system called Mana Punk. Yes, I have. Catch out of the bag. If you go search on Amazon, you can find Mana Space Punk as an actual set of books. We've got uh, one, one main book and three adventure modules. And I made an entirely D6-based, a bit of an inspired by ripoff from Shadowrun in terms of mechanics. A bit. But a, an entirely D6-based game system. And uh, it's got 24 class, no, 18 classes, 24 playable races. You can be everything from like hobbits and fey to like giants. And there's no class race restrictions. There are, uh, 
I don't know. I like it. It's my system, though. I'm biased, so I think it's awesome. <laughs> um, okay, 120 batteries. Wow. Are we bankrupt yet? Let's get this. Let's get this. I want a couple of these. <laughs> I'm going to wait for Foxbot to break all of that, though. Yeah. <clears throat> He just builds it back up. The man's a machine. I wonder how uh, much would be needed to run some one shots for the league discord if they have not run any yet. We have not, Mr. Rue, and I would love to see that happen. There's tons of people that would love to play um, in the actual League of Ordinary Gamers. My big thing, I could do like some just voice based stuff, but a lot of people say, oh, if you're going to do your game system, because I would do my game system, I know it best. Um, plus it's awesome. <laughs> uh, it, but if I was going to do my game system, a lot of people are like, oh, you, oh God, there goes my frames. Uh, you need to record that and put it up somewhere. I don't know how to make it visually interesting. I could make it a podcast, but that's where it stops. So, yeah. yeah um, we're back up to 7,000. Yeah. Uh, hashtag Pinoy says, I'm okay. I'm currently in the process of creating a full schedule for my friend. How are you? I'm doing great. Live stream's been awesome. We started it off and people immediately started bit wars, so I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, we tried and tried to get one running for the last two years. I think it would be cool if somebody could sit down and actually do it. Drop some in front of the door, Foxbot. There, Donnie picked it up before I could read. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel one of the, uh... Um... Yeah, that's the problem, Charon. We have nobody that wants to do a subscription to Roll20 um, because it's not exactly cheap. Somebody would have to have a subscription to it to get the full benefits out of it. And uh, this is going to be dumb. Watch us find some unique bug. Jitty's going to hate us. Um, <laughs> you found what? Uh, Who else I, is going to hook up a fusion reactor to my cells? Yeah. Um... <laughs> I can't make another 120 uh, power cells high. Because we, we bankrupted ourselves or what? <laughs> We're bankrupt. <laughs> We're um, missing 539 diamonds, 13,000 oh. redstone. <laughs> oh, jeez. How much redstone do we have left? 4,000. Only 4,000? Yeah. We have 400 we'll diamonds. <laughs> I think this is... Yep, I think this is going to have to be. It's a good use of all those resources we've been building up, though. It's okay, though. I turned, yeah, on the, I turned on the Void Miner again, so that's okay. Um, well, the Void Miner is set up to Tier 3, and... Okay, it's going to be... As much power as it will consume. Let's get... Um, somewhere, there it is. Hey, Bigum, I think you're trapped. No, you're not. Nope. Hey, Fox. I want some of the best, if not second best, cables we've got going from that little dot right there down to the top of this monstrosity. Hey, did you put an output port on top of this, Aridani? The, uh... Mechanism battery. Uh, it's hooked up to the main line that's underneath the reactor. Oh. Do we want to just hook this one up to that, too, or what? I mean, we need to pull power from it, right? Up there. God. Um, I want to be staring at the screen when we plug it in. I want to see the numbers change. Yeah, this is 1.8 billion RF, apparently. Oh. I'm missing Obsidian to finish um, this cryo stabilizer. Uh, Do we I have my battery uh, uh, disconnected right now as I've upgraded it to the next uh, tier induction cell. Okay, but when you get it hooked up, do you want to put an exit, I mean an output on the top? And then we can yeah, pull... I can. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stare at this screen for a second and chat with the audience while some things get done. Um, um, if you were to accidentally, Foxbot, I say purely, if there happened to be an accident of mousing and we ended up with some extra obsidian from somewhere, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just saying, accidents happen. I would notice. I'm not even reading chat. <laughs> um, I need to find a pulverizer to automate silver. I just realized. Yeah. 
Uh, Chairman Winterblade says, okay, tabletop games uh, as streams end up needing everybody to be okay with face cam and roll 20. Yes, or everybody being in the same place. Like Yogg's Cast, do high rollers or critical roll, whatever it's called. No, high rollers. And there's the critical roll one that I think is done by either Nerdist or Geek and Sundry or whoever. I can't remember. Somebody, but it's there. They all get in the same place and they're all on camera uh, or they do it via face cam. Um, and a lot of the people that we have in the community don't have face cam or they're not interested in doing it on stream. I still think it'd be interesting to do it just in some kind of isolated direct messaging kind of groups. Or we could set up a room where specific people have talk privileges and everybody else can just listen. Uh, stuff like that. Um, Not in all the blank patterns. Why are they in the system? The blank patterns? Yes. Uh, for the, cra uh, what, for auto-crafting stuff? Yes. Uh, I keep having to make them, and I go through a stack of them. Not a stack of them, but I mean, like, I'll make 10 or 12 and use all of them. So, make more. There's four in there. I just used one. Held message for a reason. What? Okay, that's weird. Oh, no, uh -huh. I can't break a block. Which one? I'm being sarcastic. Oh, <laughs> creative mode. Uh, auto mod, what? Yeah. Delcar did a D&D &D stream the other day. It was uh, like budget critical role, but it worked out. Yeah, and I'm very curious about how he's doing it, but it's still a situation where you have everybody in the same room with only one or two cameras and mics. That makes it a lot simpler. Uh, Mallrat, it's less about, it's probably the at G and, at G and S, Geek and Sundry, that got caught in that auto mod message. But that's the reason why we say allow is because it learns and it says thank you for your feedback. So I'm less critical about auto mod. It's better than the system they've got over on Mixer that doesn't learn. Um... Penny Arcade's YouTube cast from PAX is uh, so funny. Yeah, it is. I agree. Okay, I'm going to sneak down through this way and see what's going on here. Oop, oop. So you're going to, you're, what, you're upgrading your battery, uh, Aridani? Yeah, I'll, I'll upgrade the storage and the battery, yeah. Okay. Then once this thing gets finished, we can, um, why can I not? Okay. I'm going to turn my jetpack off for a second. There we go. Once this thing gets finished and replugged back in, we can put an output on the top of it and pull up to this big battery bank also. And then, I guess, connect out the front? Let me see. How are we going to do this? Um, oh, that's going to be glorious. Okay. I'm going to do... Oh, God. Let's go over here. I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to do like output. And we can just pull straight. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. There we go. Output up there. Straight across to that main trunk. Yep, that'll work. Clunk. That also reminds me, I need to turn this back to single block. Can I read that? Yeah. Not oh, a boy. chance in heck. I want to ask about a multi-block screen for this thing, for uh, a multi-part screen for this thing for uh, McJitty. It may be possible already, but I don't think it is. Maybe not. Basement. Um, what is the quote count? Any new ones added yet? No, nobody's made any suggestions on the Reddit. Somebody makes suggestions on the subreddit. We'll add them. I have done that. Yeah, yeah. We need like, like streams or what game we were playing and who said it. Stuff like that. We need specifics. Boop and boop. Okay, to make this an output a configurator. Config. Oh, the and output. 25. This uses Giga RF, right? So yeah. it goes it goes kill Omega Giga, which means that is 25.6 billion RF. Yep. Okay. 
Um, I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and uh, well, this is 1.8 billion up here. <laughs> We have enough power, guys. That massive wall is 1.8 billion. This little thing is 25 billion. So yeah. Um, well, yeah, because that's what's stupid about these induction multi-blocks is that yeah. I just stuck one elite induction cell in there, which is 25.6 giga RF for just one block. <laughs> so you could multi-block and put more at the core in this, right? Yeah. Uh, currently, it's got two advanced induction providers, which uh, gives it an output rate max of 409 kilo RF per tick. Uh, and one elite induction cell, which is a battery capacity of 25.6 giga RF. Monitors says try putting some of those screens next to each other or whacking it with a wrench. Who says what? Marat says to either whack the information screen with a wrench or put multiples next each to each other. other. I do believe one upon a time I tried multiples next to each other. I will try that here in just a minute, though. Again. Um, I'm gonna do uh uh uh. uh. Actually, we need to make more glass in order for you to do that. Mm. There you go. It even looks neat. Uh, okay, now it's 2.4 billion. Eh, better. Um, I do have my RF tools wrench ready, so if somebody wants to make some extra screens, we can try that. Just an elite induction I cell? Come on, go big or go home, says Taryn. Yeah. I'll go get some class. What is roll I'm 20? I'm still waiting for the cryo to finish. Fancy batteries, fancy, says Birdcraft. Um, if you really wanted to, the ultimate induction cells 204.8 giga RF. <laughs> 204.8 billion RF. Yeah, for one block. That's kind of nuts. That is insane. And what's scary is I think you can make this thing up to like 17 by 17, I think. That, that thing put kind of puts this one to shame. I mean, really, when it comes it down to does. it. It does. We bankrupted herself making a massive battery wall, and Aridani's got this little thing stuck in the back of the actual room over here that has a little itty bitty battery that is 10 times everything. this or something. Yeah, um, 20 okay. times. Fancy battery is fancy. Yeah, all right, Vigram. If you want, you can craft a bunch of the information panels. Okay, hang on a sec. Uh, at this pow. I'm going to do, whoopsie. Um, what's my major function here? Your what? What's my major function issue here? Darium ingots, hardened glass, electrum. Looks like it's trying to produce all of these in the exact same same machine for no reason. Okay, let's get... Okay, I don't know what this... That's because there's silver in the induction smelter. Yeah, see, this is, this is the weird part. You shift right click and it pops it off. I can make it like change the formatting, but I'm I'm not sure what this is. These two empty blocks are these two empty squares. I think this is just a battery level indicator. Um, I I, I don't know, but this is as good as we can make it. Buttons. What are they? They don't have any text on them. We can't put anything in them. There's no right-click capability. This is just a, a, a display. It's not interactable. Maybe an input-output, and then this is a battery bar? Why would you have input-output on the same base that's going to be covered up by a power cable? No. The in and out. Oh, numbers? Power. You mean, oh, okay. Like, how much, in terms of, I don't know. That's what we're going to have to just see once we plug this thing in. I figured out why my cryothium wasn't being... Crafted. I was putting 
silver into the induction smelter to produce pulverized silver. Oh. Um, Taryn Winterblade says, we made one of those in Sevtech powered by a couple of steam turbines. Two weeks later, when it was only half full. <laughs> um, the mech battery is completely silly, like I said, says yes. Kugas. All this and no dragon, even in this pack, cool. You what? Dragon? What? There it's, is a dragon. Wow, um, you're already up to 2.7 billion already. <laughs> You'd be better off using the screens and controller from RF Tools itself. But, I mean, do those screens interact with these battery banks? That's what... I, I've never messed with that. I don't know. I'm going to take these off. And I can put them on the outside. Okay, what's taking up the Enderian? Nothing should be taking up the Enderian. Oh, no, wait. It's a hardened glass. That's why. Because I'm smart and I put Enderium and the hardened glass in the same machine. Okay. So once this get, we get our final stretch of cryoducts, we can actually hook this thing up. And when the one last connection gets made, this should get basically max input on power going almost instantly to it. It's not going to max out the battery because it's still going to have a transfer maximum to 123,000 RF per tick. So I am curious to see how quickly it fills. There's a module that lets it read energy. Maybe. We might do that on the outside then if that's the case. I'd rather have a giant monitor that spans that. <laughs> yeah. I think we maybe, maybe we can do that as one of our last things on this. By the way, just everybody, so you should know, we have actually done... I think this is episode number 17 or 18. I think it's 18. 18. On uh, Grimco's Wasted. That is um, 30. Uh, oh, gosh. 36 um, actual hours of live streams that exist on my YouTube channel for this whole series that we've actually done. Um, that is, uh, 72 YouTube episodes if we were going to break it down into 30 minute chunks. So tonight is very possibly quite almost definitely the last night for the series. We're probably going to sign off on this server for the last time later this evening and, uh, probably not do any live streams for it because Coop Life 2 is right around the corner. So Thursday, maybe Coop Life. Thursday might be something temporarily, temporary while we're finishing up Coop Life 2. We'll see. Um, yeah, we can do a three by three screen on the front side and, uh, uh, make it look better. So yeah, I think that'll be cool. I'm actually going to, I still think it's hilarious that you, uh, uh, put auto crafting up for cryo ducts, Fox. That's a, a distinct level of absurdity. Um, yeah, it's not auto ejecting into the energized smelter. Yeah, this is our uh, ore miner controller. Somewhere, didn't we have an, a, a resource miner, or did we take it down? It's right behind it. It. I'm just replacing the block. The controller. Oh right, I'm not just... replacing the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So the resource miner, we can swap between the two. Basically, we just replace the head, the head control unit, and uh, yeah. So, and this is one thing I do like about this mod is that we can do this. We don't have to have a distinct setup for each one because they're all different. We just replace the control unit, and it's fine. Um, this is where we've been getting a lot of our resources. We kind of stopped mining weeks ago. Um, yeah, we mine weeks. Um, um, can somebody cancel the current cryo thing? Hang on a sec. The crafting terminal thing is down here. I think. Cancel the cryotheum or the cryoducts? Just the whole thing. Just click cancel all. Cancel all. There we go. It's all done. I have to reset this because the electrum blend and, well, the electrum is not getting processed properly. Um. Berg, you're using a word I don't understand. It's got a lot of letters in it, too. 
box broke it again. I don't think it's Fox's fault. I actually think this is Refined Storage's fault. This is one of the other reasons why I'm kind of psyched about using Storage Reborn, that add-on that adds a different multi-block crafting system, because it does crafting in a certain order that's a bit more logical and less, less prone to jamming. Um, I got lectured on this quite a bit, the differences between AE2 and Refined Storage by uh, Mr. TTFT Cuts, because he does not like this exact same problem on what's happening right now. So, it's not actually Fox's fault. We cannot blame Fox. Not in good conscience. Actually, I, I'm going to blame Mechanism here. It's refusing to accept an import from the crafter at the moment. Yeah. Okay, I need to make... Let's see if we can input. look... All Back. right, tools... Export bottom... Okay. Do we have a screen Reinsert controller? Pattern. Oh, we have, we have some screens. Screen. Uh, three by three. Patterns? Oh my god. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Get one of those, and then we're going to get a screen controller, and there was one for reading energy levels. Uh, inventory screen module. Energy. Let's get one of those. Watch it not work with, oh, wait a minute, energy plus probably is what we want. Yep, there we go. And fluid, fluid plus machine information screen, computer screen, buttons, elevator hey, well, buttons. It made three cryo stabilized. So. Okay. I think I got the parts I need. Hang on a sec. I'm going to. Um. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, let's. Vagar is dooting. Doot, doot. Um. Okay. I'm gonna do. What? What the? <clears throat> Um. Okay. I'm not sure that these things are going to cooperate. Also, I lost a screen. Oh, there it is. Waiting for 110. It's processed 54 out of 50. Five. Why is it not pro processing the other 55? That's because it's making pulverized silver. Okay. Uh, I found a bug, guys. Uh oh. What's this bug? And it's a Lulu. Oh my god. Cool. I, I can't place it vertically on the actual battery bank. Isn't that hilarious? Cool. Um, okay. So what we're going to do instead. That is a big item. Yeah, it is. It's very huge. Um, nope. Okay, what is it crafting now? Oh my god. What? Okay, there we go. It isn't telling me what's crafting at the moment because the numbers are changing. I'm going to do. I'm going to put that in there. Um, I think it's looped, creating pulverized silver. Then we need to go in here, go up and over. I was waiting. Okay, yeah, no, that's broke. And then what we can do... Scan. How did you get 
power. There's no... Oh, it probably still had power. Never mind. I was about to say, there's no power running through this conduit. It's magical. Okay. Zero. Okay. We were going to have just a number, apparently. Um... RF module, a bar, center, commas. Thank God. Thank you, McJitty, for putting in a commas option. It is so dumb that we have all these massive power readouts and nobody puts commas in them. Um, it's because you're so low... You're so far down that it assumes you're looking up to place it at an angle. And no, that's actually... I I tried to put one flat against that bottom center block on the battery array that I was looking at directly. It was just slightly above head height. And it still placed it flat like that. It's... Plus, you should be able to right-click and rotate it, in my personal opinion, but whatever. Uh, Night Pirate asks, Finalize your home base ideas, Vag yet Vagrim, for Coop Life 2. I know you have finalized the Coop Space Station Casino. I will love to see the overworld launch base. Yes, I have an idea. Not only do I have an idea, I have a location for said idea. Now, ha ha ha. So yeah, I, I actually have um, something that, that I'm working on. Um, hey, my number disappeared. I think the screen finally... Lost power. There's a crafting monitor right here, isn't there? Yep. Yep. Why is it trying to craft 42 and electric? Why is it making so much silver? Can this not import faster? Yep. Okay. It's out of power. That's what went blank. That's fine. Clunk, All right, clunk. so our base right now is using about 25,000 R. <laughs> oh, that's 25,000 to run the fusion reactor, though, right? That's, um... No, it's all sufficient now, so, uh... Funny enough, we could ignore the reactor. The solar panel, the tier 3 solar panel produces 25,000 RF. Seriously? Oh, wait. Seriously. We have a tier 3 solar panel. I'm gonna... Uh, don't hook up the cryo ducts once you get them all made, if we ever do. Um, if we ever do, that is yeah, the key word. <laughs> I want to be there when we turn the lights on in the battery array. Um, this is 84 electron, but it's just endlessly producing silver. Uh, Dark Preacher says it's probably because most modders have nightmares about single commas missing from their code and oh. not being able to find it. What's wrong, Box? You're making weird noises. <laughs> what is wrong, dude? Oh, yeah. 24,059 RF. Because it's a different silver pull uh, price. Make a, oh. forge, make, make a forge lexicon thing, I think. Uh, or just get the... Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I have no answers for you. And now I have to find my... So this is our it tier three solar array. dictionary. It should be able to use silver. Uh, yes, it should, but there's a problem with that and during the crafting systems for uh, uh, refined storage. It's been reported. It's just a bug. It hasn't been fixed yet. This is our tier three solar array on the roof. This does twenty four thousand and fifty nine RF per tick. The power system that Foxbot made that uses was it hydrogen? Fox. F one. Ethylene, ethylene, right. Ethylene. It uses ethylene down in the basement that's powered by all the crop cloners. That does a, a lot of power. And then uh, we now have the fusion reactor. I I think we're good on power. We I think we're seen. <laughs> yes, I think we're I think we're covered. We could probably uh, connect the solar panel just up this battery down here. Um. Um, on, honestly, we need to figure out where the input is for the flux network, and I think hook it up to these batteries. Yeah. 
Um, I just I don't know where it's coming in. It got moved a couple of times. I think you were the last one to move it, Aridani. Um, is it in the is it in the machinery rooms or what? Can't remember actually. Um, if it wants, I should touch it. What are we looking for? The input for the uh, flux network where the flux plug for Grimco HQ power is. It's we in one of the workspaces. I think so. Actually, I think, I think it's in Air the Donnie moved. Floor. Air Donnie moved. It it's last. in the bottom workspace. Yeah, okay, I was right. I tell you what, if you can get it and bring it to me, I will put it in place, and we can um, hook it in onto the conduit behind this battery wall. Just ignore the. I think what is it? Three hundred silver dust in the system because. The system is a jerk, and it didn't detect that the silver dust also counted as silver, well, pulverized silver. 824 silver dust? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should I start pulling this stuff out and running it into a, the one of the things upstairs, or what? Maybe. Um, uh, habitat. Don't hook up the lights yet. Now all McJitty needs, besides about 20 less mods to maintain, is to add a text scaling option for the screen. I think it has it. Um, um, Why is it saying no? But... Oh, wait a minute. Hopper. Let's get a hopper. Let's get a chest. Uh, an iron one will be fine. And uh, Oh, that's because I'm... Oh, my God. A little forge bug. Are you a big dummy head? No. What's a forge bug? I'm just really not liking yeah, your fine storage at the moment. Yeah. Um, okay. Don't consume all the silver, please. The silver dust? Silver. Oh. I have a flux point. Yeah, because that's that forge bug. It's moving How many do you need? Now. Two stacks? About two stacks will do, yes. Here. Since I can't drop these, nothing disappearing. Here you go. <laughs> um, can't you put them in the system? I could put them in. The <laughs> uh, I'm going to sleep real quick. Boop. We're at one hour and thirty-four minutes on the live stream. Um, at Flux, I have been very, very pleased with Flux Networks. It's been a great mod, comma, however. Um, okay, flux plug, adding. That's the one I need, right? And what, the controller? Should I... Did you pick up the controller, too? Uh, no. I left it there. Okay, so it's just the flux plug. Um, okay. Basement 2. Um, I've loved flux networks, however. It, it, I think that... There are certain things for other mods. It, 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 it sidesteps too much stuff on too many other mods. Why do we have this turned on? That was consuming what? a butt-ton of power, probably. Oh. The uh, 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 Wither Killing Room. Um, okay. Uh, um, let's do... I wonder if that fixed our issue. I'm sure More it probably limits. just canceled whatever we, it was trying to make. What? Oh, Hanzi! 310 bits. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Thank you very much, Johansi. Oh, I do think you just booted somebody off of the leaderboards, though. There was you a fight. booted Air Donnie. <laughs> well, I, whoever was booted, in third. No, I've been booted for a while. Um, mm. Skysom. Skysom just got booted. Okay. Is anything actually hooked up to this anymore? Network connection. Yeah, wind generators are coming into this. What the heck? Um, wait a minute.
We're adding. Oh, God. Um, at Fluck. Picked up the wrong one. I always do this. We're removing. Yeah, from. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so if I do ignore limitations, it's filling up. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what it looks like. Yeah, that one screen with the two squares looks... I don't understand. Power! We have 19. 19 million. It has to go up to 2.4 billion. There's supposed to be a power bar on here somewhere. Isn't there? RF? Yeah, bar. Oh, it's behind it. Oh, is that filling up? Oh, okay, it's behind the numbers. You wow, see the I three. There's a very subtle bar to the left. Okay, so it's going to go all the way across. That's fine. Tiny sliver. I kind of wanted the rest of the screen to do something, but sure, whatever. I wonder if you center. <laughs> Sky Sum just got bit slapped out of third. Wait, am I now a full-blooded term for being an insult? Get furged? What? Could have sworn Fox said that as long as it wasn't a, it wasn't furg. Multiple cards on their own line. I don't know, but I mean, that's one massive bank, so it'd be pointless. We would have all of them reading the exact same thing. I figured it would have the numbers and then the bar below it, but I kind of forget each one is their own line. I tell you what I could do. Um. Oh, I know what I can do. Hang on a sec. Um. At. Um. Wait a minute. No, it's right here. Uh, I'm gonna do that one. Really? I have to go kill a squid. Oh my god. Okay. Give me a second. That's my fault. I killed like 800 squid and then used them all. Here, squiddy, squiddy, squiddy. Come here. Oh. Good to know I don't have any actual cryothium in the system. Cryothium's overrated. It's not actually. It's critical and we need it, but, you know. I had to say something. Squid genocide! It's a squid aside! It's not a word. Um... Multiple cards on their own lines. Yeah, I was just thinking if you could set one with no text and a bar. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the top one with just the number and no bar. And then I'm going to do uh, one, uh, a line under it, I think, that is going to be a bar with no other information on it. I think. I think it'll let me do that. Um, okay, we get this and we go. We upgrade it. Oh, wait a minute. I got to do... Set for power cell high. There we go. And then I'm going to set this here. And we're going to do no bar. RF commas. Um, and then on this one, we're going to do bar. Percentage. Center. No label. Mm. 
Label alignment. Why is that not center? Oh, Probably whatever. Probably is centered. Centered on what? The little sliver of the bar? No, the bar is probably centered. No, the bar goes all the way across left to right. The number itself should be centered in the space for the soul, for the whole line. But maybe it's going to keep moving across. I have no clue. Anyway, we have some kind of a better indicator. You cannot have the, ba the bar and no text. The only option would be to make the text the same color as the bar or the background, but that's not going to work. Yeah, I wanted the number centered. 7% is all the way up to the left in it. I don't know. Okay, I cleaned up the uh, laser array. Thank you. Um, yeah, right. Okay, I think it's centered on the, the bar as it progresses or something. We'll see if it moves over. But, I mean, we can at least read it. I think I have to get a blank one to move it down a line. Let me see if I can get a blank card and stick it in there. Um... I kind of don't see why he wants black ink for these things because it's not actually the screen and the data that's being displayed is never black. Don't know, but whatever. That's going to be blank. Let's do large. Centered. That's the same. There we go. So we got some spacing now. And it's still filling up just from the actual systems on the roof. That's the wind gens and the, um, of course, that's now not going anywhere else. Oh, God. Hey, uh, Fox? Yes. D what is our, how many cryo ducts do we actually have? Six. Because the system right now is being a big jerk. Cryo stabilized flux ducts. Four. Okay. Well, I mean, that's, that's something. I have three. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do something that is probably long overdue. And I'm going into creative mode. Not creative mode, but I'm going into cheat recipe cheat to do it. At Tech Guns. Okay, one thing we were working at for a long time with this is to be able to have... Not anti-gravity. Oh, uh, yep. Here we go. No. Where is it? Creative anti-gravity device. It's basically creative flight. One, two, three. We can't actually make it. If we hook the multi-block structure up that would let us make this, it would break the server. So, we have all the parts. We have an obs yeah, we have an obscene amount of these things. I mean, the, the resources for these things. There we go. Finally. Cryo. There's another five. I need to make more jetted cryothium. So yes, uh, we did. Uh, uh, I can turn that off now. Um, I need like. I'm going to say seven. Seven more ducks, and I think we'll be good. Um, squid genocide. It's squid aside. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have all the parts, and I'll show you what it takes. If I can find it again. There it is. Anti gravity device. The problem is the anti gravity core gets made in the reaction chamber. If we turn it on and it's got any fluid in it, there's a distinct possibility we'll have an unrecoverable error and the server will die permanently. Um, the nuclear power cells, we can make that in chemical labs. We already have tons of those upstairs. Um, it's just, it's one of these things where we can't actually make these. Oh, unbreaking, mending, curse of vanishing, and warple. Why can't we enchant those on here? Weird. Anyway. So it, it's just, it's one of those things where we're just going to have to cheat them in. We can get all of the other parts that we already have. We're going to erase the components for it. This is the last episode of the series anyway. Screw it. 
Gotcha. That sounds like a rather large block. Yeah, yeah. That's the only. It is the literally the last stepping stone, the last multi-block, in it to do all of the high-end stuff in tech guns. And if we mess with it, it can break the server. And uh, we have tried and tried to get some uh, actual. Go get your creative thing out of the uh, storage system box. Um, what creative thing? Anti-gravity device. Go get it out of the storage system. I, I cheated some in. Because we're hacksers. Um, so yeah. Uh, four. Awesome. We have been trying to get updates from the tech guns mod authors, the maintainers, for a while. Um, they have been busy with real life. And it's just the way that it goes. I said screw it. We're at this point where... <laughs> Fine. Yeah, it, it's... We're at the point... This is the last episode. We're turning the lights out. Not literally. Server's gonna stay running. We have people playing on the server. I'm not gonna shut it down, but... Um... But, okay, that's plugged into the main line now. So that means the base is pulling power from this array. Oh, clunk. It still needs to be plugged into the other battery. What does? The, the battery oh, that yes. you have out here needs to be plugged into the battery in the back. Yeah, yeah, we still need to do that. There um, should be a lot more. Cryo ducks through here. Cryo ducks. Okay. Let's do. If these will run faster, work faster, Magma Crucible. Work faster. I am mad. I just cranked up the uh, reactor under the notch. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. So now it's going to produce six hundred thousand more. For context, for said bug with the mod, I've already made an add-on for tech guns that gives two other bugs. It that gives two other bugs it has. I can't fix the TE, however. Unfortunately, their license doesn't really allow people to do updates or bug fixes. Yeah, yeah. Gives a fix or two. So, Mallrat's making patch mods for our for a mod. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I would love to have tech guns. It's got a lot of stuff that would fit Coop Life 2, but they're not updating it. I cannot in good conscience put it in the mod pack. It's one of the reasons why... I mean, do you want this wolf completely sponge right here? Oh, I figured we could sponge it out once uh, everyone's done there. Oh, wow. At this point, I'm not expanding that anymore. You know I was fixing to come through this, right, Fox? What? <laughs> the wall you just patched up. Oh, are you in there? No, I'm out of there, and I need to get in there. You can break it. It's what I just did. Oh, you hooked this up. Oh, okay. I was going to do that. Okay, so now the fusion reactor is powering this thing. It's got an insert per tick of 591,000. Okay, what? Nice. Yeah, that'll do fine. Um, yeah, it's at 40% now. That's actually cool because uh, the this induction matrix down here can output 614. Thousand R4 tick. So it's about equal. Nice. Now it's a 50. Oh man, that is going. That bar is filling fast. 1.17 billion. Yeah, 1 the, uh, billion. Uh, All right. Here is a full uh, output. Yeah, the mod will be great once it updates or if the mod author opens it up. Yes, and I 100% I agree with that, Mallrat. It is a fantastic mod that is kind of held behind a license and a preoccupied mod author. I'm not mad at the mod author. I don't want anybody to start nonsensical rumors about me not liking. I think they did wonderful work with the mod. It's a great fun mod. They just don't have the free time to be able to maintain it at the pace it needs to be maintained. That's it. Uh, thank you, Night Pirate. Maybe if it's important to modular machinery multi-block that acts like their broken machine or something. Yes, we could make a standalone mod that accepts their parts and make and is either our own multi-block or theirs, but it's still the fact that there are other core problems in the mod that we can't patch around that easily. And I'd rather not have to patch a mod that way 
because that means more work for the likes of Mallrat208 or whoever else wants to help. Mallrat says, I heard Bagram doesn't like the mod out there. Don't make me come over there. 95%, 96%, good grief. Come on. Come on. I'm up there. We got eight minutes left on the live stream. 100%. It's full. Woo. That could... I'm in creative mode. I could just go back behind that wall and fill it with high. You know what? Go nuts. Let's let's just get dumb. Look, we've got the last 10 minutes of a series. We're going to get a little silly. Sorry. Fireworks, Fine. exactly. The downside to that Terran Winter Blade is that visually modular machinery stands out like a sore thumb. Yes. I think he needs more work, says Birdcraft. What's the, con what is it, a wrench for this? Oh, I have it. Hang on a sec. That, that can cheat it in. It's called a smart I wrench. The name. Smart wrench? Yeah. Uh, mods that I've been very, let's see. Let's go over a real quick recap of the mod pack itself. We're not abandoning support of Grimco's Wasted, by the way. It's still going to get some updates as updates come. It's just, this is probably the last episode of our series run with it. Um, I will still maintain a server. I've considered resetting this one in maybe a few weeks and uh, restarting it from scratch so that the uh, my testers and my patron supporters and stuff like that can step on it and still play it. But um, I have been pleasantly surprised by... Uh, uh, RF Tools is always a good standout. It's got some bumps in it that still need to be ironed out and stuff like RF Tools Power. It was a brand new mod when we put it in the pack and it still needs some... It Excuse still needs me, some... Break that. Some things dented. I mean, some dents hammered can, out. Hey, Aerodonny, can you pick that up? Uh, hold on. Hold on. I'm in creative <laughs> mode. If I break it, it breaks. Yeah, yeah. Dare to be crazy, yeah. Cluck Clucks is Night Pirate. Um, the machine from Tech Guns is actually really quite awesome looking in looking when it runs. And it is. It's amazing. It's a great mod. Uh, Tech Guns across the board has been very visually appealing. We just have some key problems with, like, monster spawning and how they do monster spawn mechanics and it not playing very well with several other mods. Uh, um, so, yeah, I, I've been extremely impressed with the great strides that the thermal expansion, the COFH team, has done with thermal expansion, thermal foundation, thermal dynamics. They've overhauled those mods behind the scenes massively, and they added thermal innovation and thermal cultivation to the actual family of mods. And those have been really impressive and really amazing. And I definitely like Thermal Innovation. It's been a great addition. Um, we have all of those mods. Plus, we actually have um, Redstone Arsenal in Coop, in Coopluck 2, which is going to be really, really good. Um, and all of that stuff has EMC values. <laughs> we actually have Project yeah. in Coopluck 2 that I'm looking forward to. Um, refined Storage has had some hiccups. And I'm looking forward to being able to use it a different way with... Project E and uh, Storage Reborn. I think that's going to be a really good combo, a really powerful combo. Um, um, the machine from Tech Guns is actually really quite awesome looking when it runs. However, it's got something in the TE that isn't server friendly. Yeah, it works fine in single player, but as soon as you get it on a server, you start pumping fluids into it and put items in it. Something breaks, and we had to roll back the server to fix the problem. Um... Oh, the creative... You know what? I think it is. I'm going to get my thing back out of the... Um, the actual inventory, though. Um, I'm going to get my jetpack back out. So I can use it temporarily. What is this thing powered off of? I forget. Nuclear batteries or energy cells? Do anybody remember what powers the creative battery? The jetpack battery? goes off... No, no, the jetpack goes off fuel fuel tanks. It says reloads with fuel tanks. The anti-gravity device just has a durability. That's it. So what, once it breaks, it breaks? It breaks, it breaks. That's it. That's kind of uh, rotten. No. Huh, okay. Okay, that entire space is full. It, ha it, <laughs> it needs nuclear power cells to actually craft. Did you put the thing back down? We need to redo the cards. Yes. Re redo the cards, I think. Take them out and right-click the battery bank with them again. 
and then put them back in. Um, yeah, I tell you what, I got my jetpack back. We've got a hand glider on that. I'll swap this out real quick, and as the final kind of going yeah, away, reversed. As the uh, final kind of going away of things, we can do some skydiving, some hang gliding off the dome. That those are connected. Why is that not showing correctly? Swap this out real quick. Um, let's see. Okay, commas. It is 5.6 billion and climbing. It's not full yet. Did the screen thing get hooked back up? Wait, the battery module. It did. Right I better took them out to relink them. Okay, you want to put them back in real quick? There we go. They're back in. And... They're backwards to me. No, there we go. I see it. It's not updating. I'm not sure why. Maybe there's an absolute... Maybe there's an absolute maximum number it can show. Uh, hang on a sec. Um... At S Power... For giggles. For chitter and a pause. Um, 10.8 giga RF. So 10.8 billion maximum. It's still less than that one single multi-block downstairs from mechanism. Uh, these things are a massive waste of resources. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to... Yeah, I just went ahead and uh, just for giggles, I went and uh, stuck a couple of ultimate upgrades in that battery. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to go click on this thing and see what it looks like. 409 billion RL, oh my god. Whoa. 409 giga Bill. RF. Is this the new laser array? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's warm and tight. Don't tell me that's constantly draining. It wouldn't matter now. It wouldn't but... matter. <laughs> yeah, I I I, I think that's the last one. Thing... Yeah. I just went and cranked this thing up to uh injection wow. rate of 20, and uh, now it's generating 2 million R. The, the liquid deuterium is not being touched, so... Yeah, I'm going to take a look at Brian real quick, because that would be the sign of... Uh... Oh, the Brian is untouched. Yeah, we're good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I well, think we... I think we solved our power generation problems. Look at this those. epileptic seizure in the center. I have uh, of the reactor. Okay, yeah, the the creative device does refill. It refills off nuclear power cells. Because if you get more, you know how you say in the bottom right hand corner it says zero times whatever percentage on your jetpack. If you put more of those in your inventory, it says five times with five batteries instead of zero times. So it's seeing yep. those as refills. So it's not just going to break. It's not as dumb as we thought it was. Okay. I'm going up to the uh, actual airlock. Night Parrot says that's all that power it can show. That is all the power it can show. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's the max number that it can actually register with a card. Um, which means we need to talk to uh, uh, McJitty about raising the stupidity level on his battery display. Um, that's well, Captain. Look, look at this. He has, it's about halfway on the 3x3 three three screen. Oh, try setting the screen to not use full. Like you can click on it and show as full, compact, whatever. See if you can set it to compact and if that'll solve the problem. That may not help though, says Mallrat. No, it says 2.1G. Oh, FE caps out at max int. It's the power monitor. Is the power monitor using in the energy API for forge power? Um... It's a good thing this uh, reactor doesn't kill you when you step on it, because it really should. The uh, um, the case temperature is 927 million Kelvin in climbing. Nope. Yeah, it's it just caps at 22.1. That is the highest it uses, so it's probably tapping into the uh, Forge Energy API. So, yeah. 
Okay, I'm going up the airlock. The time airlock. to do a, time to do a little bit of hang gliding. Oh, Oof. before you uh go up that way. Too late. Look at this epilep. Too late. I'll come back down. Hang on. <laughs> I'm just having to travel the, the full length of the tower first. We. Okay, coming back down to basement two. Power. You're at max for the power card, yeah. I think that is actually correct. Boot. Okay. Come look at what? The epilepsy in the center of the reactor. Dear God, what's going on here? That's uh, injection rate 40. 40? What kind of power 40. is that? 40. Uh, 4 million R for tech. And the fuel's fine. <laughs> this is silly. Oh my God. Okay, no, we're actually draining on brine. Okay. Slowly. There it is in there it is in black and white. If it matters, what's the <laughs> what's the power level at? Um, My yours is really like stuttery. Mine's is smooth. <laughs> I'm capturing at the same time though. Um, okay, it's climbing absurdly fast. Input three point one million RF per tick. Welcome to having a cryostabilized flux flux stuck in between. Output is cap for the actual battery bank upstairs, which is about twenty seven thousand. So uh, this thing is still oh god, this is just bonkers. Um, <laughs> it's it is I mean it is truly epic levels of absurdity. Okay, now I'm going up to the airlock. Uh, yep. All the way to the top. Silly reactor, nice silly battery. Whoosh! I recognize that that's what my son in a box looked like before we ended VC3, yeah. Yeah, it was a fun series. Oh, that's something I need to bring up before the end of the live stream. Nah. Who's... You're creeping me out, man. Um, <laughs> I keep turning around, and all I saw was part of your helmet because you were turning with me. I was like, I know there's somebody back there. Um, uh, but yeah, um, uh, speaking of Vigor's Chance, the older series in general, something I need to actually talk about before the end of the live stream tonight is the possibility of running la reruns over here. We can do series premieres on Twitch. Got the door to shut in my face. Yep. Um, nice big heavy door. I'm going to go north because I see buildings over there. Uh, we can do b series premieres and reruns of stuff, basically. I can upload videos and premiere them and make playlists or co collections here, I think. So, what we could do is start doing reruns, and I would not do this in place of live streams. Live streams would still happen. By the way, scroll down and look at the actual uh, uh, um, panels, the in little, little graphics down below the actual uh, live stream before you leave for the evening. There's a schedule there. It's got times and days. Uh, that is my permanent schedule for now on until I announce otherwise. Um, um, fly through the wind, gents. Um, Robert Collins says, Vagram, if you return to base and there's a huge hole there, we know what happened. Actually, thankfully, mechanism doesn't explode. Uh, that's yes, why we left it in here. God. Yeah, eat your heart out, DE. Um, yeah. That is uh, probably the only reactor that could actually outpace the mechanism. Yeah, ones, yeah fusion ones. reactors. That one explodes. Yeah, they don't blow up. They just turn off. Um, so, okay, what I could do is start doing reruns. I think it might be interesting to get n all of these new eyes to kind of react to some of my older series and see what they think or see where I came from, so to speak. I could actually start doing like Vagram's Chance Season 1, Season 2, Season 3 because I'm a nerd. I kept all those files. I have, I have everything, pretty much. Now, I'm not going to upload everything, but it would just be the pertinent stuff. Um, I could go through the series. And you could see the really, really dumb cow episode I did in season one. I'm still kind of proud of that. Um, uh, Marat says, I always liked the idea of the always on stations for Twitch. And I could do that. We could do reruns. I could schedule them. I could set a night for like, I don't know, Saturday nights. And we could queue up several episodes in a row. Or I could do them once a day. Whatever. Uh, I would like to get opinions. But I think when I do video premieres, you might get some notifications for it. So I'm not going to overdo it. But... Uh, I, I do think it might be a cool thing, so I would like to know. 
Um, Nigger, how much drive space do you have on that computer? <laughs> I have five. I have to think about this. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Uh, you have to remember, when I started off, my video files were not as large because I wasn't capturing quite as high a resolution. Um, I was using lesser software because I... And I wasn't doing as big a set of video files because I had a crap computer at the time. But, uh, so it's going to be kind of potato quality. It's 720p stuff, you know, but still it goes up to 1080 later. Um, I want to say I have three or three and a half terabytes of external, uh, external storage, like USB drives that are video. Like, and they're oh all, my God. and they're all almost full and I need more. I need lots more cow pop apocalypse with the bagram with the bagram moves. Yeah. The Sheep Cannon episode from BC3. Um, intergalactic Space Sheep, Weeping Skull, exactly. Um, it's about three and a half terabytes, I think. Yeah. A video. So, yeah. Your reruns are better than the ones on TV and cable, says Night Pirate. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Um, there, go Donnie. for it. I didn't see BC1. Yeah. I started with BC2, says Robert Collins. Okay. Hey, Donnie. Yes. Please don't. <laughs> I'll What's... not do it anywhere near the damn dome. <laughs> okay. Go near the near the what? I spawned a tactical nuke. <laughs> oh. Oh God. Really? <laughs> like I said, I'm going away from the. Uh, okay. Hang on uh, a sec. Dome. I'm going off north. Wee. Dun dun yeah, dun. Dun dun. Up. Oh, yes, we go majestically flying, and then the world disappears because of fog. 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 Man, okay, hang on a sec. I gotta pull up the flipping map. Okay, we keep going north. We lose the fog. Way! Oh, God. And of course, the world has okay. to load. Yep, we lost it. <laughs> okay, I nuked your building and the game crashed. Yeah. There you go. Well, yeah, the server died. Serious, I have to go check it. <laughs> Boxbot, if you would, please turn the server back on. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a very good and very poignant punctuation on the end of a series. Um, we need to start a storage drive fund for Vagram. I tell you what, you keep watching. Maybe if you can, subscribe here and there. Um, I'm not doing horrible, but we definitely have some budget and some bills that I need to start getting better about earning cash for and paying for. I need to start pulling my weight around the house. Um, now, I will say things are looking very optimistic and very up for me and for the wife, specifically because... My webcam is super dark. What the heck? Um, has it been this way the whole series? Oh, God, it has. Um, uh, I really... I haven't need, noticed. I need to get a less crap webcam. This Logitech C920 thing is just not... And... It's a little bit lighter... That looks far more human. There we go. Okay. Actually, I don't think that crash was because of the rocket. There the we server's go. back up, apparently. Um, who knows? We've got a crash log for it somewhere, though, I'm sure. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing super nice, but uh, this whole Twitch affiliate thing was for a reason. Basically, I was dying on YouTube. I cannot in good conscience call myself a YouTuber anymore because I'm not making my content exclusively for YouTube anymore. I am making... Live streams. Um, yeah, see, Terran Winterblade says the Logitech C920 webcam can work well. You just have to somehow maintain the exact perfect lighting at the exact same levels all the time. And it's it just doesn't handle that very well if you don't have that. And I don't. I need to get a different webcam. Um, it's not a good webcam. It also uses way too much data bandwidth for USB. Uh, but that's another conversation. Um, so, yeah, I... I'm very much a content creator and an entertainer and a live streamer now. It's not that I'm abandoning YouTube. All this stuff will still end up on YouTube. I'm just not making series for it anymore because there is no point. YouTube is actively being hostile towards content creators on the platform. And it's, it's not, it is not conducive towards a stress-free environment. Twitch is the new home, which is why I'm very happy that all you wonderful people are embracing me here with 
uh, subscriptions and with, I mean, you do not have to throw money at me, but it, it makes life a lot better because I can actually start paying some bills and keeping the lights on. So um, I'm here to stay. Um, uh, yeah. I hit a building with a nuke and the server crashed. Yes, thank you, Eridani. Um, uh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I am very, very happy here now. Tomorrow, I'm going to start doing live streams on Tuesday and Friday afternoons, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Texas time. That is going to be a constant thing on the schedule now. Tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m., I'm going to be playing Raft. I just picked it up on Steam. Fox, I think I saw that you have it. I have almost completed it. Like, uh, well, I'm probably I'm five minutes away from completing it if I'm, I'm on I'm my get- single. I'm going to be playing it tomorrow um, if we've got any multiplayers. Um, at the subreddit, got to keep track. Um, uh, ah, the server's going to stay down there. for a minute. That's fine. I'm, I'm probably not logging back in right now. Um, but I'm going to be doing Raft tomorrow from 2 to 4 p.m. Tomorrow night, not doing Kerbal. I'm going to take a break from Kerbal for a little bit and let my brain rest. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, we're doing Pixark. And I'm very excited about that. Uh, I would be interested in doing multiplayer for both of those games. If there are some folks I know that have that, either of those, we'll see. Um, Wednesday night, still going to be Destiny 2. I might see if we can get some people together to do a heroic strike. It would take a little longer, but it might be fun to run two of those instead of four normal strikes. Um, uh, Thursday is tentative. We will do something Thursday. There will be a live stream. If Coop Life 2 is not ready quite yet for prime time, then it might be more Raft or more Pixar. We'll see. But just stay tuned and keep your ears peeled. Otherwise, I think we're going to call it here. We are 13 minutes over the mark. And the server fell over. So. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't think the server's going to be back up for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um. I will talk to all you wonderful folks later. Thank you very much, everybody, for all that you've done in uh, making this a wonderful day. Uh, Two streams tomorrow, afternoon and evening. Don't forget, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.